hello everyone and welcome back to my channel it is your girl jasmine destine if you're new here if you're returning hey girl hey what's up what's good what's goody we are back with a new video we are going to be doing another glow up transformation i've honestly i love these i love giving myself like a short period of time to do it too i only have 24 hours to fully glow up we gotta make this happen i need lashes i need hair i need brows i need skin prep i need what else do i need i need a manicure like my nails have grown out so much i need a pedicure my toes look crazy um yeah i just overall need a maintenance so i literally just woke up like this i look a little crazy like my my hair is just doing anything but i'm ready to get into it like i want to do all of these services some of them i will be getting done some of them i'll be doing myself but we're gonna start off with um washing my hair because i do plan on putting on a wig um today's sponsor for our glow up transformation video is love me hair shout out to love me hair for sponsoring today's video i'm gonna be putting on this gorgeous wig that i have in this pretty purple box i love getting these boxes in the mail when I open it up and I see this purple box, I know I'm about to get something good because their hair is so bomb. Honestly, luxury, affordable hair. Definitely check them out, but I'll have all links to the hair that I'm going to be installing down below. But yeah, I got to wash my hair, braid it down so we can put this wig on, child. And then I feel like that's just going to kick off everything. I really, really need to do so much. So let's just get right in. Okay, so we're starting off in the shower turning on my water and I got my little eucalyptus and lavender hanging I'm gonna wash my hair so I'm using the tea tree mint shampoo and then the coconut conditioner from OGX I'm gonna do a deep conditioning moment with my Olaplex and this is the body wash that I'm gonna be using and yeah I'm gonna take a really nice shower and just make sure that I'm really treating my hair and then we're gonna hop out of the shower and move on to deep conditioning so i already have the olaplex sitting in my hair and i pretty much let it sit for like over an hour and in this time i'm gonna laminate my brows laminating my brows only takes like 20 minutes so i'm gonna just do this i put on a little cap while i'm deep conditioning that way it can like really um, trap any like moisture and warmth and heat and like work in my hair better I feel like it just works better when I put a cap on I don't know if that makes sense like it's getting steamy under there um I sent a little timer for my brow lamination and yeah I've done this so many times so I wasn't gonna originally do a voiceover but honestly yeah I just decided to like give you guys a little voiceover moment because it was a little dry, I guess, without it. But, yeah, I have tutorials on my channel of me, like, doing this for elimination step by step. But we're just kind of quickly going through the motions. You guys have seen me do this so many times. I need to charge my phone because it's dying. I don't know. <laughs> um, the brows is looking good, okay? I think I left this on for a second too long, though, because my brows the next day were low-key crunchy and that's annoying but it's fine they'll like grow back in the right way it's not like my whole brow has to regrow in but like certain hairs i guess so maybe instead of 10 minutes do less honestly i kept it on for more than 10 minutes i think that's why i don't know um, and then I'm going in with my facial steamer. I got this off of Amazon. This is my new favorite thing about my skincare. Oh my gosh. I literally talk about this with everyone. And this Dr. Barbara Sturm face mask. So this is for, I believe, normal slash all skin types. But it's a hydrating and um, anti-aging face mask. So you're supposed to do this like one to two times a week. I try to do it two times a week, but really it's like once a week I do this mask and it has like, you know, things that are going to help with um, boosting collagen in the skin and elasticity and hyaluronic acid and all those great things. So it's great for my dry skin because it doesn't strip my skin or make it feel super tight. It's actually very hydrating and this paired with my steamer, 
I'm obsessed. It's literally like my favorite thing ever. The steamer has like a towel warmer setting on it, which is so cool. So I warm my towels and then I wipe my face mask off after letting it sit for 20 minutes. That's how long it says on the packaging. And then I go in with my toner from Laneige. I absolutely love this toner. It's a toner and a moisturizer in one. I still go in with moisturizer anyway, but I love this toner. It's so good for dry skin. It doesn't make me super oily, but it does hydrate my skin. And then I like to go in with this Pharmacy Beauty um, Vitamin C Serum. This is going to help with fading any dark um, marks, acne scars, or hyperpigmentation that I have on my skin over time. So I've been using this for a couple of weeks now and I really like what it's done for my skin so far. And then I go in with some hyaluronic acid from the Inky List. This is like pretty much done. I have to get some more. I absolutely love this stuff. And then I'm going to go in with the Pharmacy Beauty Honey Halo Moisturizer. This is an AM slash PM moisturizer. So I like applying this, you know, whether it's the morning time or the night time. It's so hydrating. It's so silky and smooth. It honestly gives me very much luxury vibes. I love it. And then I like to go in with a face oil. This is some marula oil. I just really have always loved marula oil for my skin, for my dry skin, for my sensitive skin. It does not break me out. And then I'm going in with some SPF. This is from Super Goop. It's the Unseen Sunscreen. And then we're going to move over to my like little beauty area. And I'm going to be doing my DIY lash extensions. Okay, period. I have a whole tutorial on these. I got so many questions asking about how long do they last because in the tutorial, which was also my first impressions of trying out the false scare lashes, um, I said that I wanted to see if I could make them last two weeks. They definitely don't last two weeks. They definitely last like five days at most for me. I was trying to stretch it to a week, but I just can't get past five days. Like on the fifth day, they're like low key coming out and then I just kind of like pull them out and it doesn't pull my natural lashes out because the glue is not super strong. Like I feel like if the glue was stronger, it would definitely rip out my actual lashes, but it doesn't. They kind of just come off. It kind of gives like if I were to put strip lashes on and try to keep them on for like several days, which I know there are women out there that do that because when I used to do makeup, I used to have clients that would come in and have lashes on for like a week straight and i'd be like how do you do that i didn't know how they did it but they were doing it and this low-key gives that so they definitely last more than a day but they don't last more than a week it only makes it to like day five for me and then i have to do a fresh set but you can reuse the clusters which i like you can clean them with the remover and you can reapply them which is really good so they're repurposeful which i like so here i washed out my deep conditioner and i'm just going in i'm gonna braid my hair i'm a terrible braider my braids suck i just try to get them as flat as possible so that my wig don't look crazy but they real bulky in the back yeah but it's okay because i mean it's not like i have a bump or anything okay back there. so i braided my hair down I took my wig out of the box. This is what it looks like straight out the box. It has some curls already in it, and this is a bang wig. Bang, a bang. So I need to see like what it's giving back and just kind of because I mean, I'm not gonna have like an exposed hairline. I'll have all details. Um, on the specs of the wake down below in the description box lace is super thin I didn't even tweeze the lace or anything. All I did was tint the lace. I didn't tweeze it I didn't bleach the knots This is just straight out the pack. I'm gonna do my bald cap and then I'll be right back Okay, so I did my bald cap. I picked up a new lace glue from Amazon, but it's still the brand that I like, which is the Bold Hold. They sell it on Amazon. Buy the hair diagram. This is the Extreme Cream, and it says for dry to normal skin, which is great because that is I. I'm gonna do the middle first, and then secure the sides. 
And I'm only gonna do like three layers of glue just cause I'm probably not gonna have this wig on for too long. Yeah, but you wanna make sure each layer dries clear before you go in with the next layer. I'm gonna speed through this part and stick her down with you guys. Is it true? You actually think of me as less than you? Less than you. Just wish that I knew how something like that could happen. Maybe it's just in passing Cause nothing is everlasting, no But like really though How do you know that I can overcome All of the obstacles She just looked me in the eyes Said it's gonna be alright Cause I I haven't done bangs in so long and I honestly I wouldn't cut them on my natural hair But I would love to wear them on a wig and this is so cute. This hair is extremely soft So the curls that came in the wig were like still held but they were like kind of crushed So I just recurled my hair and I did like a looser curl 
and I didn't cut anything. I really did very minimal customization to this wig because I just wanted to see what it, what it would be giving like straight out of the box. And it's very cute. Like, I really like it. I'm actually such a fan of the bang. We did brows, we did lashes, we did our hair, I did skincare. Now I just have to do my hands, my manicure, and I need to do my pedicure. I'm gonna show you guys what my toes look like. Warning, they look scary, they look so bad. They're just like really grown out. Like, it's time, I need to do my toes. So, that's what we're gonna do next. Um, But I'm just absolutely loving this hair. It's just so cute. Oh, like she's really freaking cute this is what the back looks like and that's what the front looks like <laughs> like I don't even feel like I need makeup because honestly the only reason why I've been wearing makeup recently is because I'm working on my scarring that I have on my forehead I had some bad breakouts a couple of weeks ago and I've just been working on getting those to fade over time, the scars. You can't even see my forehead. Like, I feel real cute right now. I would go out like this. Like, I would just need a little lip gloss. Maybe just a little bit of concealer under my eye. Just a little bit. Just a little, just a little bit. The bang is cute. Yo! Yeah, so let me get my nails, my hands, and my toes together, my feet. Because then I'll feel, like, very complete. Alrighty, voiceover jazz is back. Um, we're gonna be doing a very quick fill in on my manicure. So this is an a four week old French tip set. Um, so I did these nails with tips, and then I put basically like builder gel, clear builder gel on top of the tips, and I just sculpted really short nails because I just wanted a really natural short looking set but they've grown out so now I'm gonna be doing a fill-in so they're gonna be a little bit longer one of my thumbs did end up breaking when I was um, in the gym I broke it off so I just cut it down that one I'm gonna be putting a full cover nail on top of but everyone every other nail I'm just gonna be doing the same fill-in that I always do um, so this is the extend gel from a prey I'll have it linked in the description box, but I just do like two pretty thick layers of this on my nail as a fill-in. I do do the base, the gelish base coat first, and then I'm going in with this pink. This is like a dupe for the bubble bath gel color from OPI. It's $7 or $8. Got it off of Amazon. It's literally my favorite pink ever it's perfect for french sets it's just the perfect color pink you can build it up so one layer and it'll be like sheer and then if you go in with two to three layers you can make it more opaque and it's just such a pretty pink like this is the perfect nude pink for every skin tone i feel like it's it's that girl um and then here you just see me looking for nail inspo I have a bunch of saved nail designs on my Instagram um, and I just found this one and I used it roughly for inspiration so I'm doing the same like kind of squiggles but not exactly like the photo of course kind of just freehand winging it but and I'm doing different colors too but I definitely drew inspo from this nail set that I saw and yeah each finger is gonna have a different color so we did blue first and now I'm going in with this very vibrant hot pink these gel polishes are from McCart I have a discount code with McCart I am an affiliate so if you want to use that and save some coin on your purchase on their site you should definitely go ahead and do that or you can get them off of Amazon too. I will have that link down below. I'm also an Amazon affiliate, okay? Help your girl out. This is how she pay her bills, okay, period. <laughs> so you can check out the description box for links for everything. But yeah, this was like a really fun little quick easy set. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys how I was able to do it on my own. You guys know I love doing my own nails. I just like quick, cute, fun designs. I don't want to spend hours and hours. And this was real cute. So I did the full cover nail on this thumbnail. And look at how perfect it looks. And we're doing yellow. And yeah, that is pretty much the set, the fill-in on my nails. Alrighty, so it is the next morning. I just got myself ready. 
Um, I'm actually about to head to my 10 a.m. appointment at the nail salon to get my toes done. I honestly could have done my toes myself, but with me doing all of my other services, I do still like to feel pampered on my maintenance days because it is for me. So I decided to just go and get a pedicure done. Um, my toes are crazy, but this is how my nails came out. They came out so cute. So the photo I saw, um, I just kind of used for inspiration. They used different colors, but this was like basically the design. I wanted to do something fun, colorful for spring slash summer. I'm probably going to have this set on for like four weeks. I mean, that's how long I had on the last one. So I don't know. I just love it. Like it looks so cute. So yeah, I'm about to head to the nail salon. Let me show you guys. I'll show you guys my toes beforehand at the nail salon. <laughs> straightening this hair and making the bang just a little bit heavier because it was a little light for me it's still like a light fringe bang but i just added a little bit more hair to it but i love this hair straight too like it's giving very much chun li okay period and it's a really cute length it looks so good i'm actually about to go out right now so i finished all of my maintenance we did the hands, the toes. Did I show you guys my feet? Oh my god. Ugh. Yeah, your girl got her toesy toes done. It's the free feet um picks. It's for you weirdos out there. Just kidding. <laughs> Me and Benson are about to go thrifting actually he's gonna take mommy on a shopping date if you guys enjoyed this video then make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below shout out to love me here for sponsoring this video thank you guys so much for sending me this gorgeous wig ah, i just feel so cute like i love feeling like a new woman i feel like a new woman if you guys enjoyed it then make sure you leave a comment down below i love writing back to you guys don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the tribe turn on your post notifications I already said give this video a thumbs up and don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you on my next upload bye